22.2 remaining in regulation. We're tied now at 74, courtesy of Chauncey Billups. Two free throws. Everything is in New Jersey's favor, though. Shot clock is off. Jason Kidd, the rest of the guys for the Nets, just hold that ball until there's 10 to 8 seconds. Take your last shot where you get to shoot, maybe have one chance to stick it back in. You miss it, you're on your way to overtime. And in overtime, Detroit is perfect this year. 8-0 in the regular season, 2-0. I mentioned the two overtime wins over the 76ers in the semifinals. They haven't been beaten. That's an NBA record. Eight times in regular season play, they won an OT and eight trips. We're not there yet. 22 seconds still remain here. You got to watch Rodney Rogers spotting up. I tell you that everybody at the Palace is up. I don't have to. The three of us have had to stand up to see the court. Phillips on kid. 17, 16, counting down. Okur's on Kenyon Martin. Kerry Kittle's guarded by Rip Hamilton. Kid now starts to move with seven seconds remaining in regulation. Kid, the jumper to win it. He got it. Jason Kidd has just sat everybody back down at the Palace. 1.2 seconds left. He hits the biggest shot of the day. And not his game at all. That's the last thing you would ever associate with Jason Kidd in terms of coming with a game winner. Dribbling out the clock the whole time. Comes to his strong hand. People cannot believe it at the Palace. Well, I mean, Bill did a nice job. Okor leaves Martin. And he's going to double him right there. Great defense. There's nothing you can do right there. And I guarantee you, if you told Rick Carlisle that's the shot they will end up with, please go ahead and take it. Be my guest. Jason Kidd says, thank you. Thank Jason you very much. Kidd, all day long, we talked about how horribly his field goal percentage has been going. And when it comes down to crunch time, the All Star has forced a timeout with 1.2 left in what appears to be possibly the winning shot. Looking at that shot clock is Jason Kidd. Chauncey Billups on him. When it got to about 7.2, he said, here we go. And he didn't try to set up anybody else. He took it to the corner, threw a double team up and over one, and buries the biggest shot by far of the ball game. When was the last time he even practiced that shot? <laughs> and New Jersey has stolen one. They have swiped the home court advantage from the Detroit Pistons, and that's the guy that did it. Jason Kidd, 5 of 18 from the floor today, but it was number 5 that was the difference maker. He hits the shot with 1.4 heard round the NBA for this day. All right, standing by with the guy who usually sets up his teammates to make those plays, but in this case took it himself. Talk about how that final play unfolded, Jason. Well, uh, coach put the ball in my hands, and he cleared out a side for me. And uh, unfortunately, I haven't made one in a while. So I, I think I was like overdue book, and uh, you know I cashed in at the right time. Yeah, no one had to pay a fine except the Pistons in this case. But uh, like you said, you don't do that quite too often. So how much have you prepared for a game winner? Well, I like to have the ball in my hands, and uh, you know, as a kid, you dream about making the winning shot. But you know, if somebody would have been open, I would have tried to get them the ball. Through game one, New Jersey's.